Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Hopefully you are having a great Thursday. My name is Noodles. Um, today we will be checking out this retextured weasel news van. It's technically for a EPT, which is a broadcaster in Greece, but I know there's probably going to be a bunch of people making different textures for this because obviously it's a cool design. So if you find one for your home state or if you want to make one for your home news stations, go ahead. I would assume that's all right. Make sure to check the licenses and everything. Don't want to say that's exactly what's happening, but I would take a look at it. But overall, um, it would be really cool to have that, I'm just saying. But anyway, we're going to look at how to install these. I don't normally go over how to install these types of vehicles, because they kind of are simple along with how to install any type of car to 5M. The reason I wanted to do something like this is I kind of wanted to actually show off the model a little bit, because it actually is really cool, and I think it can really help in role-playing situations. And not a lot of people know where to get these types of models. Now, I wanted to go over one thing quickly. A lot of the models which I use in my servers are all available for free on the 5M forums or LSPDF Fars, forums or somewhere as long as they are like a non ELS type car unless you use ELS plus but I find it very buggy you can pretty much stream it over to your 5m server so I would just go ahead and stream as many cars as you want over there just make sure you have enough server resources to handle that but um Overall, it's still a very, very cool thing to have, and I wanted to kind of show some off. But this will probably, we'll have one or two car videos over the next few weeks, and we'll get back to normal uh, server resources coming up very soon. Um, I can't wait to show you all um, a few projects I've been working on on the side for 5M. I can't wait to show you some call-outs I've been working on the side of. I'm fixing a license issue with uh, Writer, which is the program I use to code, and then we'll have some coding videos out very soon. But anyway, to download this and get, get started on this, all you have to do is scroll up to the top of the page and click download from GitHub. It'll take you to a GitHub page, or it will automatically download depending on what, um, link they put. If you want to go to the GitHub page, you can click right above. If you want the direct download, you can just click there. It will go ahead and download. You're going to open up your server dash data folder, go into resources, and this is where we're going to drive our drag our folder into. So we're going to open this up with WinZip, 7-Zip, or whatever you use, and we're going to actually create a new folder in here because it doesn't come with one. So we're going to go in and right click, click new, and for this case, we're just going to name it ERT to keep it very, very simple for what it says up here. And then in this folder, we're just going to drag both of these over into the folder, and you can see inside the the stream is the name of the truck. You're going to keep this in handy to spawn with your trainer or whatever you use to train or whatever you use to spawn stuff. You're going to want this name. So keep that in mind. But well, we're going to go back to our server data, go to server.cfg file, edit it with notepad plus plus, and we're going to add a new line. And in this case, it's ERT. Go ahead and save and start our 5M server. So when we start our 5M server, we're just going to wait a second. And you can see right there, started resource ERT, which means we have started it correctly and it's all good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in game and show you what the truck looks like. All right, so we have gotten into the game here and we have opened up our trainer. I'm using simple trainer for this example, but I'm just going to go down to where it says spawn vehicle by model name. And in here, we're just going to type the name of the vehicle, which was we spawned in. We press enter and there we go. We have gotten our vehicle, which is obviously a news van in this case. Um, it looks really cool. I got the little antenna dish on the top and everything. You can drive it around, you know, just have fun with it. My graphics pack makes it a little bit bright with the full white on there, but um, obviously it's up to your graphics pack and your settings and everything to make everything look exactly what you want it to look like. Obviously, I believe the skin's changed on this, but you'll have to ask. Overall, it looks really cool, handles really well, there's no like handling problems wrong with it or anything. Um, I believe we can open the doors here if I remember how to open the doors, I believe it's vehicle options. Uh, I have not done this in a very long time, so I do apologize for that. But, uh, vehicle doors and menu, let's open all of the doors, we can open the trunk, which technically opens only one trunk, which, what button is it? I don't remember. Is it rear and left and rear? Yes, there we go. So you can see there is a bunch of like uh, technical equipment in there, which is really cool. You got the side door where you can see all of like the TV screens and everything. So you got all this cool stuff you can play around with. Obviously, you wouldn't drive with all these doors open, but I'm doing it anyway. But overall, it's really, really cool. So hopefully you can check this out and use it on your server to make it a little bit more uh, realistic when you're doing roleplay and stuff. So if you have suggestions for resources, please let me know down in the comments below. ESX is coming. I am currently working on um, a gigantic update for that with uh, videos and stuff, so make sure to stay tuned for that. I'm also glad to say that I have fixed the graphics issue in my game, so there will be no more blinking in future videos. So thank you to everybody who was giving suggestions on how I could fix that. Very much appreciated. Turns out it was a file with the update from a graphics pack I forgot to overwrite. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully you did enjoy today's video. Play around with this, have fun. I'll see you tomorrow.